In this vodcast, we're going to have a look more closely at the Taxable Income Framework. The Taxable Income Framework forms the foundation of all taxable income calculations. In previous study units, we had a look at different types of taxpayers as well as different types of taxes. When calculating taxable income, it doesn't matter what type of taxpayer you're dealing with. The generic framework for calculating it is the same. It's also important that we refer to the different aspects of the framework by using the correct terminology. Because many of the terms have very specific meanings in terms of the Act. For example, income in the Income Tax Act is defined as gross income, less exempt income. But let's start at the beginning and work our way through the framework together. As I said, the first defined term is income and it's gross income, less exempt income. Let's have a look at gross income first. Gross income is made up of two aspects. Firstly, amounts that comply with the definition of gross income that we find in Section 1 of the Income Tax Act. To the amounts defined in terms of the definition, we add amounts that are specifically listed in the paragraphs after the general definition. These are called special inclusions and they must be included in gross income whether or not the definition applies to them. Now, in order to apply the framework correctly, you'll need to know exactly what the definition of gross income means, each of those terms, and you'll also have to learn the list of special inclusions so that you can identify any of these amounts when you come across them in a question or in practice. Now, after you've calculated the big total of gross income, the Income Tax Act makes provision for some amounts that you've already included in gross income to be taken out of taxable income. We refer to these as exempt income. In terms of exempt income, we can only deduct something that has already been included in gross income. We can't just deduct an amount because Section 10 says that an exemption exists. The total that you calculate at this point is referred to as income. It's important to know this as some of the deductions are based on a percentage of income and it's this defined term of income that the Income Tax Act is referring to. After calculating income, then all the deductions are subtracted. Deductions are expenses that are allowed to reduce taxable income for income tax purposes in terms of the Act. So when we do tax talk, we don't refer to them as expenses, we refer to them as deductions. And when we speak in terms of calculating taxable income, we say that expenses are either deductible or they are prohibited. That means they're not deductible. There's three types of deductions that can be deducted for income tax purposes. These are general deductions, specific deductions and capital allowances. General deductions are expenses that comply with the general deduction formula. That is section 11a read with section 23. You'll need to learn how to apply these sections when it comes to deciding whether an expense is a, that is of a general nature will be deductible for income tax purposes or not. Next is specific deductions. These are expenses that are identified in the Income Tax Act as deductible. You will need to be able to identify these so that you don't waste time trying to apply the general deduction formula to them and so that you go straight to the specific rule for that type of expense. These deductions include things like bad debts and doubtful debts. The last type of deduction that you'll need to reduce taxable income with is any capital allowance. There's quite a few capital allowances that you'll need to know how to calculate and they often depend on the type of the assets and sometimes they even change with the date that the asset was purchased on. Deductions can be done in any order when you calculate taxable income. After calculating a total after all the deductions, the taxable capital gain is added to the taxable income calculation and the last total that you calculate is referred to as taxable income. Now it's on this taxable income amount that normal tax will be calculated. Before I end this podcast, I just want to emphasize the importance of each of these terms and that you refer to them correctly. 
Remember, when we talk about income, it can either be taxable, not taxable, or exempt. When we refer to expenses, they are either deductible or not deductible. I hope this podcast has helped you. And now you need to ensure that you can apply all the aspects of the framework. You need to go and work through lots of examples so that you understand each of the terms 